Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, folks? I am back. (laughs) Do you believe it? Um, Yeah, so today was a pretty much a kickback day. Um, However, I didn't really kick back. I did work. I was in the office since about 6 a.m. It's pretty slow. I'm not getting much calls, so which is giving me enough time to uh, pretty much do everything else that I have to do. Um, a lot of social media work, uh, the presence, uh, is pretty important. So I'm making sure that I stay on top of that. It's a lot of work though. Um, starting to put together my vlogs again. Uh, I had to take a little break and, um, uh, but I'm, I'm ready to, uh, to relaunch. So I have a bunch of new scripts, a lot of great information, uh, for Anyone involved in freestyle, um, if you're just interested in the business or you're trying to break in, whether you're coming in as a manager, agent, an artist, producer, um, there's a lot of information. Um, You guys can find me on YouTube. Just go under Latif Mercado. Um, I have um, a playlist in there called Freestyle for Life. So click on that and you can just check out all those videos there's others, but uh, check out that that playlist. So we're going to continue on with that playlist there. Um, so you can check that out. Also, this particular podcast um, is available on anchor.fm. Okay. We'll also be available on iTunes and Spotify and Stitcher and all those other podcast um, distributors uh, shortly. Um and also on YouTube. So I, I started a playlist, a, a playlist also on the Latif Mercado um, YouTube. So I'm trying to upload them to YouTube as soon as I finish them. So as soon as I finish this podcast, I'll go on YouTube and upload it. And that's just because there's a whole other audience there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, a lot of people like to watch videos. Some people... I just prefer audio. So I want to be able to uh, make sure I reach out to uh, both sides. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, and that's what I, I pretty much have been working on this whole weekend. Come Monday, everything should kick back into full swing. Should get pretty busy. Uh, got a lot of calls, but everybody's saying, I'll, I'll talk. I'll, we'll talk next week. We'll talk next week. So I'm like, okay, cool. So a lot of kids are still out from school. So I guess the parents and in our case grandparents um are pretty much uh, hanging out with them so understandable um anyway i want to I want to um i want to ask uh something and uh, oh by the way when you go on to anchor.fm there's a message button on that page so you have to go to Anchor.fm and then search Good Night Freestyle. Okay, get it there. Load the app onto your onto your phone, or you can even check it out on your computer. However, I'm thinking now, I kind of don't think you can listen to it on the computer. Now that I'm thinking about it, no, you can't. It has to be the app. So it's Anchor.fm. You can find it on the Play Store um, or uh, the Apple Store. So. Uh, yeah, so when you guys, uh, if you guys get onto the app, there's a message button. Send me a message, and I have a question I want to, I want to see, uh, I want to ask you guys, and it's about New Year's resolutions. I would like to know, do you normally um, have a New Year's resolution? 
If you don't mind sharing it, I'd love to hear what it is. Um, I, I see, I saw a bunch of posts today um, about freestyle resolutions that people already fell off and then other people were writing that that's why they never make them. But uh, I, I think resolutions are great, actually. I actually, and I, I don't think that they should um, be consolidated or, uh, or segmented only for New Year's Eve or New Year's. I think we should have resolutions. Those are also called um, plans, you know, like, you know, some people have, you know, their one year plan, their five year plan, their six month plan. Uh, I think it's the same thing. The thing is with the resolution and and a plan is a lot of times the resolution is just something that we say we want to do. A lot of times we don't prepare for it. We're not prepared for it. We figure once uh, the ball drops, then that's it. We could try to, you know, start um, executing our resolution. For instance, people who smoke cigarettes, a lot of people every year, they want to stop. So what they'll do is they'll start, they'll keep smoking all the way to the last day. And I I, I hear you. I hear you, but there's a good chance you're not going to stop. So what you might want to do, especially during the holidays, is to start really putting it into your head that you're going to stop. And maybe one of the first things you want to do is um, try not to smoke as much or at least not around people. Now, I used to smoke back in the days. But I, was a, I was a kid. I think I stopped smoking cigarettes when I was like 24 years old. And I remember I used to do the same thing. And it wasn't for New Year's. I used to do it. This is what I used to do. I used to smoke all week long. And then I used to, if if I had a pack of cigarettes on Sunday, okay, let's say I had eight cigarettes and it's already 10 p.m. (laughs) I don't recommend this though. I would smoke all of those cigarettes before midnight. I would practically get myself sick. And then whatever was left over, I used to crush, throw in the garbage, right? This was, this would be a Sunday night. So I smoked all weekend long, the week before, Sunday night, midnight, that's it. I crushed it and I would physically have to crush it, throw it in the garbage, smoke enough to get myself sick. And then come Monday morning, I would start. Sometimes I'll make it to the end of the day and I was okay, but then I'll pick up a cigarette. But that was fine. The following Sunday, I did the same damn thing. And yeah, I threw up, I threw out, uh, and threw up, <laughs> but I threw out a lot of cigarettes doing, uh, with this process. Um, so, hold up. Hmm. <clears throat> So I continued to do this. And then what would happen was sometimes I would make it to Tuesday and screw up. But that was fine. I would go pick pick up a pack of cigarettes. I would smoke it until Sunday. And I would do the same thing. And with the intentions of when I go and I try to stop for the week coming up, I would at least try to top my last goal. So if I made it to Tuesday... Now I need to make it to Wednesday. I made it to Wednesday, then next time I would try to make it to Thursday and so on. And I continue to do this and I did this for years, okay? Um, Eventually, it worked. There's a whole other story of how that happened. (laughs) Um, Pretty interesting. Um, But eventually, I stopped. I'll tell you one of the things that I did do, however which is something that I just advised you is I actually told people that I stopped. I lied. And what I would do is I wouldn't smoke around them. So mentally I had already stopped, even though when they would leave or I would go around the corner or I was by myself, or I was in the bathroom, I would still smoke. Um, but I didn't tell them that. So as far as they were concerned, they didn't see me. So I kind of held myself accountable to these people. You know, so it was like my own little private game um, and it worked, you know, Um, I don't have those vices anymore. I'm glad 
I don't doubt anybody who does. Hey, do you. Um, I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't... If I drink, it has to be... I drink girly drinks. <laughs> you know, I'll drink whatever's pink or chocolate. Those are my drinks. Uh, those are my uh, my drinks of choice. And, uh, and what's so funny about that is that sometimes... Like the girls that I work with, I'm talking about Angel, uh, Susie, and when I was working with Lizette, um, they all like to drink. And what was so funny is that sometimes we used to go to a restaurant and everybody used to order drinks except me. I would drink, or I would, I would order like um, a Bailey's. That was my thing. And <laughs> they they would come, and all the girls would would buy like a whiskey or something or something strong. I don't know what the hell they drank anyway. They go, whiskey? Whatever it was that they drank, but they usually drank the same thing. And when the waiter came back with the drinks, it'd usually be another guy coming back with the drinks. They always always gave me one of the whiskeys and everybody would laugh. I'll be like, no, that's not mine. <laughs> Those whiskeys belong to all three of them, you know? So, and they, they would give me the chocolate drink and of course I was the joke of the night so but um but yeah <clears throat> so <clears throat> I don't have any of those <clears throat> vices anymore same thing with drugs I'm from the I'm an 80s kid so uh grew up in the 80s 70s and 80s so I, I dabbled I had my time and uh so I don't have any of those anymore uh, I think maybe my biggest problem that I think is I don't work out. I don't work out the way I should work out. I, you know, I have a bench here. Yeah. I don't. I, I find it's weird because everybody says go to the gym early in the morning. The problem is when I wake up in the morning, I don't want to go to the gym. I got so much shit happening in my head. I want to get my Bustelo coffee, come into my office, and I want to boogie. And that's what I and I have so much energy. I throw my music on, and I'm doing whatever I gotta do. I, I don't start to slow down till and that's usually about maybe 6 a.m. that I'm already active. I don't usually slow down till maybe about 3 p.m. I'll slow down a little bit. Okay, I won't shut down. I'll slow down a little bit by around 3, maybe 4 p.m., which is usually the end of the day for most people. For me, I just kind of bring it down a notch. Um, but I don't want to spend that time in the gym. I really don't. I've done it. Where I would get up early, me and Andrew would jump in the Jeep, and we'll go to the gym, and we'll work out for like an hour, two hours, and then come back. And I don't know, man. It, it, it kind of felt like it screwed up my day, you know? So I bought different types of equipment for that I would keep in my office. One of the things I bought was a treadmill. Spent a lot of money on it. The problem is I screwed up on the warranty. And it was so crazy because it finally broke. The motor went. And when I called the manufacturer, they were going to replace the whole thing until they pulled up my numbers because I didn't have any of the warranty information. So when they pulled up the numbers, they realized that my warranty had just expired. I'm talking about like two weeks or less than two weeks uh, prior. <clears throat> so I was really upset, but that was uh, that worked for me because I would... I watch a lot of speeches online, okay? And I take a lot of online courses. So a lot of times I have to listen to lectures. I like to get on a treadmill and listen to the lectures. It's like the time just flies. So I could be on the treadmill 45 minutes to an hour and it felt like it was 10 minutes. So um, so it was, it was cool, but the damn thing broke. And of course, I didn't buy another one. I didn't want another one. Um, I have a workout bench here. And I have about maybe, I don't know, 100 pounds of dumbbells. So I, I get on the bench and I can usually, I usually do like 80 pounds. I do, no, yeah, because I have more than 100 pounds. I have, because I have two 80 pound dumbbells. So I bench those and I might do several sets of 20 and I'll put them down. Now, but I'll do them throughout the day. day. So yeah, my arms, you know, I, but I'm still fat, <laughs> you know? <clears throat> and the fatness, believe me when I tell you, has nothing to do with what I eat. I don't walk around with donuts in my pocket and, and you know, bottles of soda. I drink water all day. 
my wife has to usually call me and tell me, come in and eat. If I snack, I might eat some pretzels, maybe. Um, other than that, I, I like fruits. I hate vegetables. That's a big fight in this house all the time. I take these um, these tablets called green tabs. I have them right here. Oh, no, they're not here, actually. They're in the other room. Um, so they're called green sauce, and they're like, they're supposed to have all the nutrients I need. So I take those. But except for like right now, I'm kicking back. Lights are dim. I'm sitting. But I have a standing desk. So all day long, I'm standing at my desk. I do not sit down until, unless I'm going to go eat lunch or whatever. That's the only time. And I have a, a, one of those thick rubber mats under my feet. Um, so I'm standing all day, and I'm not forcing myself. I actually, it's very comfortable to me. I get uncomfortable when I have to sit. Because then when I get up, everything feels tight, you know? Uh, but when I'm standing, I'm fine. If anything, after I take a shower and I go to, to shut down for the night, um, it feels like I've been walking a mile, you know? Now, I'm sure that's a little better than sitting, but I'm still not sweating, which is probably why, which is, yeah, why I'm not dropping the pounds, you know? So I was watching somebody, I was watching a lecture. This guy's a, a fitness pro, and he only does like maybe 40 minutes a day, and this dude's like diesel. But what he said is, you can't break it up. He doesn't break it up. He says you have to, even if you stay home, but you have to focus. And for that hour or half an hour, you have to go hard in that one shot. You know what I mean? So you sit at the bench. So this is where I'm at right now. So I'm like, okay. Now, I I worked out for years. I used to box. So I know how to train. Um, I even know how to diet. And I have, I'm pretty good at that stuff. I know that stuff. Um, It's just, I always find other things that are more important. They're not more important. To me, they are. I make other things priority, like working, writing, pretty much that's it. (laughs) Um, So, and, and I know how important working out is. And more so than me losing weight, I'll tell you. And probably anybody who's in their 50s. I just hit 53, October 25th. Um, Just hit 53. The thing that bothers me the most, that worries me the most, more so than losing the weight, is my energy. My energy. Not that I'm losing the energy, but I was always a very energetic dude. So I like to come in here and want to bounce around, you know? So I don't want to lose my energy. That, that's, you know, and, and so I, I know how important this is, especially for what I do. Especially for what I do. You got you to gotta realize that besides working, I travel a lot. And I don't know how often any of you travel, but... We do a lot of West Coast, so we do a lot of, and this is both Cover Girls and Little Susie. We do a lot of Texas, we do a lot of California. Very rarely, though we do them, do we do Chicago and Florida, which is a little closer. But most of the time we're doing, whether it's L.A. or the Bay Area or anywhere in Texas, okay? So in, in fact, the next two shows we have, the first one is in Fresno, the second one is in Houston, okay? So... When we go and we fly, well, we're, look, we're looking at anywhere from four to six hours that we're traveling. And when I get off of those planes and I have to walk down the, walk through the jetway, oh, I feel like I'm 100 years old. Everything is just stiff and then, you know, with the pressure. So these are the things that I don't want to experience, you know. So my goal, my resolution for this year, besides starting my podcast (laughs) is to try to intensify my workout. I'm not going to go to the gym. Listen, we just recently canceled it and we've canceled it about a dozen times. We've had that gym membership for about 13 years. And if we had to combine the amount of time that we've spent in there, it has to be about maybe a year, honestly. And for my whole family, I think I pay 75 a month. So I've donated a ton of money to that place. 
I, they should name a wing after me because, and I don't even go. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So so I said let's cancel that. If we get back into that, if we we get back into the groove, and then we can open it back up. We don't have the kids here. Erica's in Germany. Um, Adam's away. Uh, we don't really have it. We have Santana. Um, so we could probably bring the price down. So it'll probably be about thirty five dollars for just me and Angel. Um, it's cool. It's a cool place. We play a lot of racquetball, though. We do like racquetball. And um, she's still trying to beat me. She can't beat me. Um, and she says I play too rough. I'm like, yo, you, you're in my way. You're in the line of fire. <laughs> what am I going to do? But anyway, so so that's the goal. My goal right now, okay, I'm, I'm six feet, but I'm... 340 pounds that's a big that's that's a lot of weight you know some people say I don't, I don't look it I think I do <laughs> you know I think they're just trying to be nice you probably think I do too probably laughing but uh anyway so anyway that's it um but I just want to bring that up um my thing is like I said what I was trying to get at is set goals set resolutions never stop never give up um, nothing's, nothing that's actually worth it is easy. You know, losing weight is worth it, but it's not easy. Stopping the cigarettes or any other bad habits, um, it's, you know, it's worth it to stop it, but it's not easy. Um, all the easy stuff is the stuff that's not good for you. <laughs> you know, think about it. So, uh, so, you know, don't give up on on anything you have any any dreams any aspirations don't let age be in the way that bothered me for a very long time I always felt like I still do I feel like I'm I'm racing the clock and now it's not it's more so for my health thank God thank God I don't have any health issues not that I know of okay but I see a lot of people having health issues so I'm always worried about okay I still got time to do what I, at 50, you know, nowadays, you know, you people work until 75, you'd be, you know, I think Buffett, Warren Buffett didn't become a millionaire until he was in his 60s, I believe. So, um, or a billionaire, <laughs> I don't know. But, so there's still time as long as I don't get sick. That's the key. So, if you have any dreams, doesn't matter what it is. You're never too, you're never too old. Just push forward. And realize that you know, age is nothing but a number. There's people out there killing it um, in their 60s and 70s, their 50s. And um, and that's it. So I just want to, that was what, what was on my mind today. And I um, uh, hope you guys had a, um, a good Saturday. Hope you guys are chilling out right now, kicking back. And um, I'm about to uh, shut down for the night. I'm done. So, anyway, um, until tomorrow, you know, take it easy. God bless and good night, Freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.